I'm live. How you doing? Hi, I'm Fred Glick, and it's time for my ramblings on real estate. Uh, it's April 9th in the middle of the pandemic, 2020. Basically, this year will just be a blur. So there's an itty bitty bitty bit of light starting to reflect out thanks to the Fed today. They gave up a ton of money. I don't even bother with the numbers because they're all so silly at this point in a macro sense. They're just throwing everything they can at the um, entire economy to restart it as fast as possible. And I see that as an absolute positive. They're helping small business, which makes so much sense. Um, if you didn't see Shamath Palihapitiya on CNBC today, during uh, the noon hour Eastern time. Go look at that. He's got it pretty well summed up too. Don't give bailouts to the airlines. I mean, bummer dudes, you go chapter and the employees stay, the management may go, but you figure it out and somebody comes back and they give you some money and you lose out on some equity, but that's the game. You, you win and you lose in the stock market. So it happens. You could have taken out pandemic insurance. It cost Wimbledon, Wimbledon, sorry, $2 million to take out a policy for pandemic problems. And guess what? They canceled Wimbledon. They didn't delay it on purpose because they collected about $141 million of lost for lost income. And that's tax-free, at least here as an insurance claim. I don't know in the UK, but that's smart. So American could have taken it out, Delta, all of them. Two million a year, well, maybe you have a different amount of money that they were gonna get, the premium is gonna be higher, but even if it was 10 million a year. Anyway, that's another business to go into if somebody wants to write insurance. I'm sure a lot of people will buy that policy now. Anyway, back to real estate. Um, here's kind of what's going on with that. There are still active real estate agents out there. I've gotten two of them calling me and a bunch of emails. Pretending like there's nothing going on except the fact, well, it'll change a little of how you look at the houses. They're not being honest with their customers because, what was it, 5 million people filed for unemployment last week? It's only going to get worse. It's not going to come around anytime soon, and everybody's going to have to take some pain, and that means values are going to come down. I keep saying it. But with what the Fed did, um, I could see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, uh, but I can't tell you the timing. Now. That's It's impossible because, first of all, the bug controls the timing. And if it comes back, starting to read some articles, somebody in South Korea actually got the flu again. So we don't know. Just go, go, go science. Just let them go. Um, anyway. So what I'm saying is we're going to see, well, back to these agents. These agents are not doing anybody a service. The mortgage money is coming back a little bit. I've gotten two jumbo lenders that are still writing policies, uh, writing mortgages. But as you know, they're going to be tough. You have to be perfect. If you have a 680 score and above and you're going for a loan amount up to the Fannie Mae limit, and that depends where the property is, and everything's clean, you got a W-2, a pay stub, and your company will verify that your income will continue, you have no problem getting a mortgage. And the rates are still good. Uh, low threes for a 30-year fix, no points, something like that. Ballpark. Um, even a 15-year refi, zero point on a bigger loan amount, probably 2.75-ish. So it can be done. It's actually a really good time to refi now because we're getting appraisal waivers and or desktop reviews. Nobody's going to be coming after your house. I wish they could solve the problem with um, digital signatures, but c'est la vie. Okay, I'm streaming along. So uh, I'm in this about four and a half minutes. Um, I, that's Slack. And if you don't know about Slack, here's, here's a commercial for Slack. Get Slack. Even with your family members, you can have Slacks. Uh, my wife and I have it, and it's great. We throw recipes into a folder. We can communicate that way. We put our grocery list on there. So 
we don't have to write it any place. We know exactly where it is. We keep the stuff that we always keep there. Just, just for your own use. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Go to slack.com and they didn't pay me anything to say this, but slack.com and uh, take a look at their videos and hopefully you'll get it. If not, ping me and I can help you. But that's even bigger than Zoom. Um, real estate. Anyway, I'll go from the south on up. San Diego, that area, every real estate agent I've seen who's sending anything out is sending out, hey, great price reduction. Owner says sell. Okay. Remember, a lot of the wholesale mortgage companies are headquartered in Southern California. A lot of executives come out of that entire industry. That's the kind of guys who are like, oh my God. So that's one example of it. Uh, I'm sure there's tons of other industries, but that's what's happening down there. Los Angeles, quiet, deadly quiet, because nobody knows what to do. Um, I have an agent uh, who's selling a house in San Jose. He thinks it's all fine. Oh, it's going to be fine. But there's buyers out there. And there's buyers out there in Seattle because the realtors pushed and pushed and pushed to get that uh, you know, six feet away rule for showings and getting real estate done. But they're, again, doing people a disservice. But I have one of my clients up there who saw a house online, thought it was great. Uh, like, dude, I don't, just, I don't know. <laughs> Go. But he said, yeah, there's a ton of activity, the agent uh, said, whatever that means. Six people, probably, somewhere in that vein. <sighs> you got nothing to do. You're bored to go see real estate. You can go see stuff that's on lockbox. Um, you know, so, again, you don't want to go running around this. It's not a necessity for most people. I mean, there's barely anybody who really, really, really needs to buy. I can't wait two months. So what else? Um, back to the mortgage business. There are some lenders I have that are taking no um, applications at all. Some are taking the applications, but can't lock in until it's clear and ready to go. But that actually gives you what's called a 15 day price, which is a better price and rates aren't going anywhere. So it's probably not a bad idea. Um, I don't know. It's, I haven't done any originations. All of mine are closed. I've closed everything. So I have nothing active, which is fine because there shouldn't be. Um, I can do pre approvals now, which is easy. Uh, that's another thing you might want to do. And I'm pre approving people. I can do both purchases and refis. Nobody says you can't do a pre approval for a refi. So knowing that we don't need appraisals, you get rock and rolling and set up and we can get it um, really checked out. And, and when you're ready to ready, I think the rates are going to come back down when everything kind of chills out in the mortgage world. If you're following that, it, it's, it's interesting. Basically the likes of uh, UWM, Quicken, the non-bank mortgage companies, have to give the forbearances to people, but they also have to make the payments to the bondholders through Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And that's how they got their money back to the blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they don't have the ability to pay it all back. And guess what? They have to pay the bondholders. It's, it's contractually obligated. So if they're trying to find bailout money and nobody's giving it to them. The FHFA said, eh. It, when it gets worse, that's when they might step up and do something with Treasury and or the Fed. But now, no, show, it's a show me thing. So that's why mortgage rates are higher than they should be. One of the reasons. Anyway, that's nine minutes and 40 seconds of me. And I think uh, I'm all streamed out. So I hope everyone is well. Hang in there. Come up with some new recipes. And... Um, and stop baking because we're all going to be, oh, God, the baking's driving me nuts. Anyway, have a good one.